What's up guys, Outdoors Dead here, and today we're gonna be installing the Rough Country lift kit, and I also got these rock lights right here, but the lift kit's all in there. So yeah, everything for the lift kit's in there. And that's the leveling kit. The, it's gonna level and lift it, so it came with both. But I'm gonna go to the other shop where the lift is. So the old shop, our old shop has a lift, and this one don't, and I figured it'd be easier with a lift, so I'm gonna head over there, so I'll see y'all when I get there. You already know we gotta lock up the gate. to the old shop with the lift so now i just gotta hold on music's freaking loud i gotta turn i gotta back up and then go in straight so then i can lift my truck in the air and get to put the lift on so i'll see y'all when i do that all right we're about to lift my truck up in the air but first i'm going to show y'all a before so this this is the back right now you can see that pretty good and then over here is the front and then here's like a full thing of how it sits pretty much full picture there's the other side Now it's time to lift it up. All right, so now I got the jack right here to hold up the rear end so I can get the shock off and pl replace it with the new ones in that box over there. And then I gotta put the little thing that goes right here to make it taller and, and then put the new uh, U-bolts on. So I got the jack here for that. So yeah, I gotta take these out. And then there's one up there to take out too. I'll try to show you all it in a second, but I don't know because it's. Yeah, I probably can't see it. So now we gotta take this out and this out up here. And then we gotta take this off. We'll lower it down right for the little the thing right there. You gotta go get the rock socket. Maybe a little smaller. If I get it on there. Right. Back in there is the top one. I know y'all probably can't see that, but it's right here. Back up behind the frame. Back right in there. So I'll get back to y'all when I take that off. What's up guys, I'm back. It's day two. Y'all didn't see anything. Y'all seen a little bit yesterday, but y'all didn't see me like, I was struggling with that because I was tired and everything. So I just went home, but I realized you could just pull it back up towards the bumper and then take it out easy. So if y'all don't know, if y'all are struggling getting y'all shocks off, just do that. Just pull up like that. And then as much as you can, and it'll just come right off. So yeah, that's the easy way to do it. Just letting y'all know. And that's the new one, by the way. A little longer, of course. And so now I gotta put the little spacers on here. And so yeah, I'll get back to y'all when I'm doing that. All right, I finally got the shock off and everything. And now I put the little wedge thing right there that makes this all taller. So, and the new U-bolts. Uh, so all you do is put that in there and there's a hole that lines up with the little thing that's sticking out. And there's a hole that lines up right here where this goes in it. It's pretty easy, that part's easy, so. I finally got the other side shock off after a while. It got bent, so it was real hard. So I had to grind it a little bit to get off with those, with this Milwaukee grinder over here. And now we gotta take the other U-bolts off with a size 22 and um, impact or you can use a ratchet it don't matter i just have an impact so i'm going to use it so yeah i'll see y'all when i get these u-bolts off to put the new ones on also by the way uh i haven't really showed like my full truck on the ground 
I sewed it in here, but I haven't sewed it like on the pavement or anything. So I'll probably post some like pictures on here, not post, but like edit them in where you can see how it looked before. And then I'm gonna show you after, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the before in the shop. So y'all can see how it sits now, like, you know, level and whatnot. But yeah, it's a pretty big mess in here. All right, guys, I got the U-bolts off the old ones. So these are the old ones, a little bit shorter than those and not as, much, not as beefy, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I was talking about about that and the U-bolts and all, so. That's the lot, the rock lots. See how this has this little hump looking thing? Well, basically, just, I gotta let it down some, but let the whole thing down some. And then you take this out, and it has a little bump too. And then you just stick this right there. You stick this back on top when you get it low enough. It ain't low enough right now. Just keep going down some, down some, down some, down some. And then, see if we can fit it a little lower. And you just stick it in the hole on top of that and then you gotta kind of jack it up until that stays and then you gotta make it go in that little hole right there uh, i got it in there i just had to pull this back a little bit the whole thing and it just fell down in there so now you go grab your new u-bolts right here and you just kind of stick them up in there i don't know if i'm gonna have to have room because that jack i can move it a little bit yeah, and then you just stick them up in there they are in fact the same 22 millimeter but you also got to put them washers in there i forgot about but to tell you all about but yeah you got to put the washers in there and then you just put them all in there I'm gonna set y'all up like right here and see if y'all can see what I'm doing. Which I think y'all will be able to see. Hopefully my GoPro don't fall, cause yeah. That would be bad. That would be bad. And then you just go back and forth on these to tighten them. accidentally locking it. Oops. And that's how you do that. And then I like to go over them with this ratchet to make sure they're super tight. To make sure they don't, you know, fall off or anything else. So, yeah. I'll see y'all whenever I do that. And then I'll be putting the shock back on, which I'll show you some of me doing that. And then I'll be done with the back. And we can go to the front, finally. All the way up there. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic oh, wow. Alright, so now I'm going to show how to set up the shock. So you take this rubber and this little washer, the rubber bushing in the washer. And then you push it on like that. And that one's that part's set. And then you take one of these metal tube looking things and you stick it through here. You might have to bang on it a little bit or something, but it'll go in there. Just give it a little bit of taps. Yeah, but if you 
you get the idea. And you just stick it up on there. You have to compress it and then push it up where it goes. Push it right there where it goes. And then you put this through it again. Like use the old uh, nut and bolt for the shocks. So yeah, that's all you do. All right, so now we gotta compress this shock and put it right here. Take this, like I showed you up there, and do the exact opposite. This size up here is a lot smaller, it's a 14, in case y'all were wondering. What's up guys, I'm back. It's not a new video or anything, but it's not time, so I said that. But yeah, this is the front shock, I got it out. I just went ahead and took the tire off. It was easier to get the impact in here, so I didn't have to stress with this thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go open the new front shocks with you on the camera just to see how much longer they are. Cause they will be some longer. Cause these are really short actually. Like look, look at that. But yeah, I had to go, the reason it's not is cause I had to go get a tool to do the torsion bar. I had to get a torsion bar tool for the torsion keys, the new ones. This right here is the new front shocks. I mean, I know they're gonna be shorter in the back, but. All right, let me put y'all somewhere where y'all can maybe see what I'm doing here. It might be kind of dark back here, because there ain't a lot back here. That's the new front shocks, so. It's a little longer, just a little bit, a little bit longer. I do got to put the uh, bushings on it and everything. So yeah, if I can find what I even did with the front shock, I'll show y'all. Anyways, I'll get back to y'all guys when I find the old shock and show y'all the difference. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll show y'all what the other one so. All right, so we got the shocks on, and you can obviously tell it's more level, but we got a little problem. It won't even fit out the dang door. So now we gotta let the air out of the tires. Eventually. All right, so we're finally to the final clip, and here's my truck all lifted up. 
and everything so yeah you can tell it looks different but i'll put some pictures in the video of it too before and after of it lifted so y'all can see there's all the shocks in there yeah it's a good bit taller actually and then i got this right here So yeah, that's about it for the truck lift video. All right guys, this is the last segment of the video, so don't worry, it's not gonna be any more long or anything. Y'all probably don't even care, but I gotta show y'all some more stuff really quick. So let's get to that. I got the hooks for my truck in the back. Those are gonna look good. I'll show y'all those in the next video when they're on. I got the Milwaukee bag and stuff. I got some stuff to do at the other house, but don't worry about that right now. We're talking about the lift in this video, so let me grab my creeper. All right, so I'm on the creeper about him ahead on this trailer hitch. But, anywho, you gotta check this lift in about 50 miles. It ain't been 50 miles yet. That's not why I'm under here. Those are all on, of course, all the shocks back here. But that's not why I'm under here either. I gotta show y'all something else. Okay. Right here is the torsion bars with the torsion keys. No torsion keys. And my truck was, it was, it was level. It was level, all right? But it was too high in the front, sadly. So I had to bring it down a little bit. I had to let these screws out a little bit. And how this works is you screw it in and these turn and make your truck higher. But you unscrew it and they make them lower and turn this way down. And when you're using that tool, you push up right there and it lets the tension off of this screw so you can get that and that out. So yeah, you gotta do that. It's a way easier with a torsion tool. Just go ahead and go either rent one or whatever. Cause I tried to use a C-clamp and it did not work out. But yeah, what usually happens when they're too high is that right there. All that grease and all that stuff. I got a pressure wash off. But the axle, CV axle rip, it went everywhere. This side's fine though, but it was real high in the front, so I had to let it down a little bit. And the shocks wasn't even actually doing shock stuff. It was just, it was touching like the frame. They was just touching, and then it was just like sitting there. And the back was real bouncy, but the front was just stiff, not even moving at all. And I did not like how that rode. So just if y'all are having any problems like that, you can just come over, come under here and loosen this a little bit. What we did was put a paint stick between a, uh, you can see it right there paint stick between right there and then we uh backed them out until they was uh until you could fit a paint stick in there so there would be a little bit of room between that because it was hitting against that and that so yeah if it's too high this will happen and it will not feel good it will not ride good at all so yeah i was just letting y'all know that i'm gonna pressure wash all this off but yeah so if y'all have any problems like that, just back them out a little bit. Get somebody to do a paint stick or whatever, however high you want it, whatever. Unless you just want to get some different axles, maybe. I don't know. Figure something out. But I'll see y'all next time. Like, subscribe, and comment. Comment a name for my truck. I need a name. So like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see y'all in the next video.